How's it going, everyone? Indy Sean 45 coming at you. I know this preview is late, but when you have a busy week with so little free time, that's just how it is. Anyway, this week, the Irish play host to the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks in the first ever meeting between these two schools. Now, in Notre Dame lore, we have win one for the Gipper, right? Well, this week, it's win one for Era. I'm, of course, referring to Era Parsegian, the legendary Notre Dame football coach who just recently passed away. Miami of Ohio is his alma mater, and he actually coached there before he came to coach the Irish and win us two national championships. Another tie in this game, the Red Hawks are led by former Brian Kelly assistant Chuck Martin, who spent four years with Kelly before he went to take the head coaching job at uh, Miami of Ohio. So a few interesting ties in this game. Uh, it's going to be a. It's also going to be interesting to see what kind of tribute they pay to to Eric Parsegian in this in this one. As far as the game itself goes. What it's going to come down to is this, in my opinion anyway. It's going to come down to our rushing attack against their defense. Now, so far, Miami of Ohio is 2-2, two and two, and on paper, they look pretty good stopping the run. But let's be realistic here, people, and I'm not trying to dog them or the MAC conference, but Miami of Ohio has played nobody. I mean, they, they haven't. They just haven't. It's just a fact. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just stating the facts here. They played nobody, no nobody of of real significance and real talent. I mean, we're going to be their first test of the year, and probably all year. Um, but um, I really do think that uh, that our running our running game is going to expose their defense. Um, myself personally, I expect us to have a big day on the ground against them, and you know we'll just have to wait and see on the rest. As far as uh, our defense against their offense goes, strategy is simply this. You shut down their quarterback, uh, Gus Raglan, I believe his name is. Now, he's a solid quarterback, but he really hasn't had that much help around him. Uh, their running game, they've kind of struggled this year so far through four games. And, you know, you, you shut you shut down Gus Raglan, you're going to be fine on defense. However, I'm not saying that you shouldn't just ignore the running backs, though. I mean, of course, you know, you shut down everybody, of course, but I'm just saying the key thing is to shut down Gus Raglan. That's that's all there is to it. Um, and also another thing, and I don't I don't know if I'd really consider this a strategy to the game, but this is just common sense. We had a we had a big win last week against Michigan State at their at their home at on their turf. It's it'd be easy for a team to just let their guard down and, and coast. That's one of the biggest mistakes you could ever make after after getting a big time win on the road. Because I've seen it happen where you know teams get a big win, they figured, oh, we got we get a weaker opponent the next week, we can just coast, and it ends up hurting them. We can't do that. We got to keep our guard up and keep playing like we're playing the number one team every week. You know, there's no room for coasting here. That's the biggest mistake we could make, and I can't stress that enough. So when it's all said and done with the with the things that I just pointed out and. You know our running game against their against their defense and us stopping Gus Raglan. I see us winning this game big, and my final score prediction in this one is going to be Notre Dame forty, Miami of Ohio fourteen in a, a lopsided win, and that should give us good mo momentum going into Chapel Hill next week against North Carolina. So again, it's a pretty pretty simple. Um, Pretty simple explanation, pretty uh, simple analyzation, if you even want to call it that. But that's how I see this one going down. So with that said, guys, this is Endy Sean 45 And as always, I say God bless and go Irish, beat Red Hawks.